Hey folks, bright sunshine in the valley today, windy across the area and also very warm. Your temperatures this afternoon were in the 80s. This is a satellite. Shows a few showers sneaking by offshore, but nothing over land. And we really don't expect anything rain wise until that front gets here somewhere around this time tomorrow. And when it comes in, it'll come in with perhaps a shower and then light rain will break out behind it. A little fog overnight, not a lot. And then tomorrow, I don't think we're going to see much again until the front gets here. So a very warm afternoon front comes in during the uh, late afternoon, early evening hours, kind of northwest to southeast across the valley. And by 11 o'clock, it's through and we start to see this light rain break out. And once it starts, it may be with us on and off, not just Wednesday, but probably all day Thursday as well. It'll be Friday before we get any sunshine back here. And it looks like it'll be the end of Friday before that happens. So enjoy the day tomorrow. Last warm day we'll see for a little while. Cold temperatures all day Wednesday, clouds drizzle, just kind of messy across the area. You hear classic winter day in the valley, and I think Thursday will be another one of those. Fortunately, a winter day in the valley is not like a winter day most of the rest of the country. How are we looking for rainfall wise? Well, let's watch as the timeline runs. It suggests that maybe a hundredth or two tomorrow afternoon, a sprinkle or two. But once that front goes through, look how we just see uh, the amounts continuing to build and most places see less than a half an inch. But, you know, as much as that isolated totals a little more, but this is through Thursday noon. So again, you're looking at a quarter and a half an inch across the region building up over a couple of days. Your chance of rain tomorrow is 30%, but not until tomorrow evening. It's a late thing and then drizzle and light rain at least 50%. Those numbers could probably be higher for Wednesday and Thursday. Relatively confident there's going to be moisture around the area. These are the current temperatures. 84 right now, McAllen, 81 Brownsville, 80 in Port Isabel. Our lows tonight right around 70 or so with patchy fog. It's not widespread. Not everybody sees fog. And then tomorrow we're back into the upper 80s again with the front knocking at the door. About this time tomorrow night, it should be getting pretty close. What's it do to temperatures? We're 86 tomorrow. Look at Wednesday and Thursday, 48 and 47. The highest temperature on Wednesday will be first thing in the morning. It'll probably drop into the 40s. So technically that may not be a high temperature, but that'll be the afternoon temperature. That's what you'll remember with windy, cloudy, damp conditions. It's going to be messy both Wednesday and Thursday. Cold weather's on the move. Look at the panhandle, 53 in Dalhart. Everybody else, 70s and 80s right now. A little moisture in southeast Texas. They've seen some showers and thunderstorms. Here comes the front pushing southward. By tomorrow afternoon, it's close. By tomorrow night, it's through. It just turns windy and cold. Look at this, snow in west Texas. None of that that here, of course, but it goes down to the higher elevation mountains off to the west of us. So it's going to be a little bit like winter for a couple of days in deep south Texas and northeast Mexico. So for tonight, partly cloudy with some patchy fog, a low of 69 south southeasterly winds about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then tomorrow it's a warm day, but late in the day the front comes in, triggers some showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but I think that's very isolated. For the most part, it just kicks up some light rain behind it that lasts for a couple of days. Temperatures in the 40s, day and night, Wednesday and Thursday. We start in the 40s on Friday. They climb back to 61 and then look at the weekend 40s in the morning 70s in the afternoon just beautiful in time for the weekend that's your updated first one five forecast